by default in Microsoft Outlook based on the web and Microsoft 365 models does not automatically archive emails unless you configure it manually using retention policy. What if I told you they could clean themselves automatically? In today's video, I will show you how to use Power Automate to automatically archive emails older than one year in Microsoft Outlook. And once you set it up, it's run forever. So let's jump right into Power Automate. Go to make.powerautomate.com. Now first, you have to click on this create, which is available on the left navigation section. Now you will see few by default templates over here. Now you need to select schedule cloud flow because I need to schedule it. So I select schedule cloud flow. Now first, give your flow a name. So I name it archive old emails. Now you have to set this flow. So first the starting date and time. It will automatically fetch today's date and time. So I need to repeat this flow every day. So one is already selected. I need to change this flow. So I select day. You can also use week depending on your requirement. Now hit create. Now when you click on this recurring, you will see all the details which you have already given here. You can change it according to your requirement here also. Now first click on this plus symbol, the new step and here search for get emails. So I simply hit get, get emails v3, select it. Now here you need to set the folder as inbox, which is already here, select it and choose the number of emails you want to fetch. So currently by default 10 is selected, I select 100. There are few other informations as well. See important, any, I remove this, not required for me currently. Only with attachments, no. I also remove this also. Fetch only with unread messages, yes. I also don't want this as well. And the last one is include attachment. This is also useless for me. Only two information is important, which is inbox folder and top 100 emails. You can also increase it by 1000 if required. Now the step three is, now we want to go through each email and filter the one older than a year. So simply again click on this plus symbol to add an action. Uh, now type apply to each. That function will, will automatically apply for each and it will check out for every email. That will basically create a loop. Now here you need to use the value from get emails as an input. Click on this, enter the data from the previous step. Now under get emails, this is the input. Two options are there, body value and attachment. You have to select body value. Now inside the loop, that means from here, you have to add a condition. Again, click on it, add condition. Search for condition over here. So this is the condition under control. In case you don't uh, check this out, simply hit see more and you will see condition. Now condition will be true and false everything matches the loop, the condition finally make this true or false. So here under condition, you will see you have to fill up the parameters, which is the important part of this flow. Now you will see in the first box, there are two options. You have to, uh, you can click uh, here from the previous step or you can use this expression. So in my case, I will show you how you can make it workable using expression. So once I click on this expression, I need to enter the expression here. So I type item received date and time under bracket hit add. So this expression is added over here. Now here you have to choose. Um, there are multiple options. You have to choose less or equal to. Now again, to match this expression, you have to again click on this uh, insert expression. Now here you have to again insert another expressions, which is add days UTC now. This is the current date is, is basically equal to 365. This is 365 is a year. Hit add. So this compares each email's received date to today's minus 365 days. This is the basic expression. Now in the yes branch, in the true branch, add move email. 
this is move email v2 now here first you have to select the message id which is your dynamic message id click here click on see more and you will see this message id folder now here you have to select that folder in which you will automatically send those archive emails into so i select this open folder first i will see my existing folders over here and here is my archive folder already exist now i think everything is okay hit save and now you have to see your flow is ready to go we recommend you test it so to test it i click on this test click on manually and hit test test run flow done it will take few seconds everything is okay the flow runs successfully now you can check your archive folder in outlook you should see emails older than a year moved there automatically i go back and i will show you the history as well see in the bottom you will also check out the history now if you want to go back to your uh, email check out your archive folder here this is my archive folder and here is the only one email although this is my new account so i don't have one year older emails in my inbox but from now my flow is automatically run every day once my email which is older than 365 days will automatically shift it to the archive folder so if you found this helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe for more outlook automation tips and drop your question in the comment below thanks for watching and see you in the next one